Hey everyone, in this video we will look how we can quickly install Gatsby GS and get started with Gatsby. Now if you do not know what Gatsby is, you can look at their official website which is gatsbygs.org. Gatsby is a framework which is used for building modern web apps and website and it is built on top of React. Now React is a front-end library developed by Facebook and Facebook uses it. So let's get started and quickly install Gatsby GS on our system. So to install Gatsby, you need to first install Node.js, search for Node.js and download the latest LTS version of Node.js. Now as the installation of Node.js is done, we are ready to go and install Gatsby.js. Now let's check the Node.js installation first. So we will open the command prompt by pressing the window plus R key and then typing CMD and hit enter, it will open the command prompt. Now by default the current working directory is different than the desktop so I will change my directory to desktop by writing cd desktop and it will change my working directory to desktop. Now to check the node installation you can write node space dash v it will show the install node version and node.js also comes with a package manager which is npm so in a similar way you can also check the version of your npm by writing npm space dash v and if everything is working we are ready to go now let's see how you can install gatsby with the help of npm so i will clear the screen by writing cls now to install gatsby i will write npm space i space then i will provide an option which is dash g now dash g means install the package globally by doing that we do not have to install it again and again every time we want to use it so i will say npm space i space dash g space gatsby dash cli and this can take a while so i will continue when this will be done okay now the installation is done mine says updated one package because i already had a gatsby cli installed you might have a different message but with that, a Gatsby should be installed and the command Gatsby should be available. Now, to see what are the available commands, you can write Gatsby space dash H. It will list all of the available commands that you can use with Gatsby. Now, we will use Gatsby new command, which will be used for creating a new project. So, I will clear my screen by writing CLS and write Gatsby space new space name of my project which i will name my dash website and this takes time so i will continue when this project creation is done okay now everything is done and we can see a new folder on our desktop by the name of our project which is my dash website and now i will close this terminal i will be using vs code as my text editor you can search for VS Code and this is a very good IDE for development. You can download that too. So I will open this folder, the newly created project with the Visual Studio Code. Now if you are running Visual Studio Code for the first time then I would recommend install the JavaScript support for the VS Code. You can download that by clicking on that JavaScript icon mine is already installed here might be a blue icon so you can install that now on the left by clicking on that icon you can open the extension tab now these are the extensions that i use if you want to install them you can install them too now click on that top file icon to open your project files now let's take a look at the project structure of a regular Gatsby website and on the first we see a node modules and it contains all the modules used by the Gatsby and that we will be using and the next folder is the source folder now this is the folder in which we will be working the most now it contains three subfolders one is pages and as the name suggests pages will be displaying the HTML pages it has an index page a page 2 and a 404 page and the, above that we have a images folder in which there are two images which are provided default by Gatsby and above that we have components folder now as Gatsby is built on top of react so it follows the component based approach for building modern web apps now before starting our webpack server I would like to modify the 
a star server command update so for that i will open the package.json file after opening the package.json file scroll down to the end of it and there you will see the scripts under the scripts you will see few commands like start and serve i will modify the start command to guess p develop space dash p space 3000 now what i am doing here is specifying the port 3000 now by default the guest we run on port 8000 but i like to run it on the port 3000 so i will change both the start and serve and press ctrl s to save it and we are ready to start our webpack server now open the terminal by pressing ctrl plus tilde sign and type here npm start it will run our server on the port 3000 as we specified now this is a development server so it will take some time to start i will continue when it has started now the server has started and you can look it was compiled successfully if you scroll a bit up you can look at the url at which your website is accessible or at which the server is listening so you can uh, control plus click to open that it will open your website and there is your website or you can directly enter the URL which is localhost then a colon and then specify the port which is 3000 and it will take you to your website now this is the default starter from Gatsby now this is the minimum setup required for running Gatsby and feel free to change anything inside the source folder you can modify the pages you can modify the index page change the headlines titles and anything you like and then see how your website is looking and you can also add new pages and then add links to those pages from the home page and you can customize it in any way you want okay that's it for this video this is how you quickly set up a Gatsby project and hopefully in the next video we will talk a bit more about that and i will join you in the next video